Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to talk about everyone's favorite siege operator, Capiteo. No, he's not. But Capiteo, Mr. Crossbow Man, and is he actually kind of useful in siege? Can he actually use Capiteo in siege? Because really it doesn't seem like you can use him. And of course you can use the man, the myth, the legend, Capiteo. So Capiteo's guns are really not that good in my opinion. I don't like them. I mean, there's the MT49 and the Para. They are exactly the same gun, except one has a different recoil pattern and also has more ammo. So that's really what it comes down to: is his guns and his pistol is okay. I mean, I am accurate with it, but I don't particularly like it. It's just my opinion. Where I think Capiteo shines is actually his crossbow. Now, his crossbow can seem very useless. If you're not coordinated with Capiteo, I think where he really shines is when you're coordinated with a team. Capiteo reminds me of Castle and how Castle is very useless unless you have a highly coordinated team, which in that case, Castle can become extremely useful. I think the same is for Capiteo. So first off, he gets the smoke bolts. The flame, well, I call them the, the flames, the, the fire bolts, or the asphyxiation bolts, and I use him with claymore. This, I don't even know if he has a claymore anymore. That's so much I don't use his other gadget, which probably shows that I'm a noob with him, but I like him. So, with Capiteo, uh, you have the flames, and I like these flames for really the intimidation points it gives you. Um, I, I think that an undervalued thing that the flames can be used for is blocking movements and rotations. So let's say you're down a hallway, and someone's down that hallway, and you don't want them to chase after you. Well, you can shoot a fire bolt down, and if they don't see you, you can just walk. Hopefully they, you know, they might walk through it and take a bunch of damage, but most likely they're not going to walk through the flames. You can also use it to flush out people. This is generally what Cappy Tails it seems like his officiation bolts, I don't even know the word, I don't even know how to say the word, but it seems like the fire bolts are really used for taking people out of cover. I think that is a good ability, but instead of that, I actually like to use them to trap people in cover. So the greatest example I can think of is on border, on the floor two armory. If they're hiding in the armory in the corner, the corner that everyone hides in, you can shoot a bolt and not necessarily worry about hitting them, but make it so they can't run out the side. And then they're kind of trapped in there and you, you know exactly where they are. Now, there's smoke grenades. Wow, that was, I never thought it was possible make me hum for a human to make that sound. But anyways, the smoke grenades, they, I mean, you use them like a smoke grenade, except that they instantly go off, which is really nice. I like, I think Capiteo's smoke grenades, even though they don't last as long, the smoke bolts, they go off instantly, it totally makes it worth it. I like, I would love to have Capiteo smoke grenades on everyone, but I mean, that'd be kind of unbalanced. So his smokes are really nice, just for anything you can think of use as smoke, whether it's to cover the enemy so they can't shoot you, or to get out of a firefight, or to cover yourself while you revive someone, any and all of those uses for Capiteo. And on top of all of that, he is a three-speed operator. So he is fast, he can rotate, he can rush. It's great. I really like three-speed attackers sometimes. Um, I, I, they're kind of like that attacker group that I don't use a lot. But when I do, I usually have a lot of fun. And Cappy Tail is no different. It's fun to just run around and get angles with the crossbow and then really just nail someone behind some piece of cover. Or... You know, you hit someone, you hit up the smoke and then shoot a fire through it or something something crazy like that, some crazy plays. Or, you know, the typical Capiteo play of drop the diffuser down and put a flame on it. Anything like that. That's really what I think Capiteo is also known for, is the flames on the diffuser. Because, let's be honest, that's kind of what comes to mind with, with his crossbow. But that's really it for Capiteo, guys. He can be pretty useful. And I think that he's not one of the world's best operators, but I think that he's undervalued simply because of the lack of communication that you can have as teammates. 
But let me know what you think about Capiteo in the comments below, guys. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Siege. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam at post. Uh, whatever I said to make.